Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. This is the History Guy, and we are continuing playing through the U.S. Pacific Campaign on Order of Battle, World War II. If you did not see the first several battles of this campaign, there's a link in the description below that will take you back to Pearl Harbor. We are on to the Battle of the Coral Sea. This is my first time playing this battle. I have no idea what to expect, so I'm just going to go in as a commander would, having no idea, just going with what he knows and, and doing the best he can. So the Japanese are expanding their operations on the Solomon Islands and are threatening our lines of communication with Australia. Their most recent conquest is a small island of Tulagi. Aerial reconnaissance has revealed the construction of a seaplane base that has started immediately after. Deploy your carrier forces in this area to launch a strike against the Tulagi construction group. A swift airstrike should cause significant damage to the exposed support ships and disrupt Japanese plans in the region. More pressing matter, however, is the reports on the Japanese invasion force sailing for Port Moresby. A naval task force has been dispatched to counter this threat and will soon arrive from the west. Enemy aircraft carriers are also known to operate in this area. Awesome! We get our first look at carriers. We'll certainly support the operation. While it is of the utmost importance that we protect Port Moresby, we must also use this opportunity to destroy that vital part of the enemy fleet. Sweet! All right, so... Uh, let's take a look at what we've got, and what we've got is uh, we've got a battleship, uh, some cruisers, some destroyers uh, to support them. Uh, we've got a carrier down here, the Lexington, um, and again, some support cruisers, and that's about it. So first things first, we're going to want to, I think, get our existing units back into things here, and that means another carrier we've actually got a sub here i don't think the pt boat's going to do a lot of good let's get now we can't put anything down there so get that cruiser there we're going to just deploy all these guys it's going to basically mean i have no points left for new things but as i lose some of those ships i will definitely have the ability to get new ones in so uh, now we've got our dauntless bomber Let's get them in the air. Let's get this wildcat in the air. Another wildcat right here. And that leaves me with six air points, no naval points. And I think we're ready to go. Um, no, you know what? What are kingfishers? Those are seaplanes. Okay. Uh, what I want, I think, is a, yes, torpedo plane. Let's go ahead and purchase that bad boy. Well, let's wait, because I want to see what I already have available to me. All right, we'll dive in. So this is a 30-turn uh, game, so depending on how many units the Japanese have, this one may take a while. But primary objective is to destroy a Japanese carrier, keep at least one of my carriers alive, and protect Port Moresby from an invasion. So I've got a lot to do. Uh, secondary objectives, destroy the Tulagi invasion force, don't lose any carriers, don't lose the oil tanker, destroy enemy fleet carriers, and destroy all enemy aircraft. That's a lot. One of the surviving battleships from Pearl Harbor Raid is present with our fleet today. Her crew is eager and ready to extract some sweet revenge. All right, Colorado, let's do that. So we're just going to start sailing forward here. What do we got? This is our Wildcat, so I want to... Get these fighters out in front. Put the bombers just behind them. And we're just gonna take everybody forward here until we run into the enemy. All right, let's get our get our uh, planes in the air here. I think I want to keep my carriers together so that there's the maximum amount of protection. So I'm going to sail these guys this way. Unless I'm not going to be able to protect this oil tanker cuz it's just doing its own thing, in which case you know, that's a secondary mission, and I'm not going to worry about it that much. It's just not worth it. All 
All right, that's everybody. All right, so we've got just those two ships that are not under my control. Uh, and it doesn't really show me a whole lot with that. Uh, so they refueled our fleet and they will now retreat from the area. One destroyer will provide escort on its journey. That's fine. I'm really not all that concerned about what happens to them. Let's get the planes going first. All right, so we have to go up here and hit two loggy. So we're going to send these planes up there. And I think with having 30 turns, I can probably maybe send my fleet up toward the middle and then give myself the most flexibility depending on what it is that I have to end up doing. That way I'll be close to both of the objectives. Get our bombers in the air. I want to be careful I don't get too far out in front of the carrier. Just in case the Japanese might have planes that appear somewhere when I least expect it. In fact, I'm going to send these guys back closer to the carrier. Offer a little bit of cover. All right, so the early turns are going to go pretty fast until the Japanese start showing up. Yeah, I'm going to keep these guys all really close to the carrier as best I can. Maximum protection for these guys. We'll move a couple of them up ahead just because I want to be able to hit some guys. All right, here's our uh, torpedo bomber. Now, I'm not going to send my torpedo planes up yet just until I know where his fleet is, because there's really no point to just have them flying aimlessly and run into some fighters or something. There's our first view of the Japanese aircraft. So let's get these Kingfishers. Um, they're not really anti-air planes, so not a lot of good to be done with that. Same with his bombers. So honestly, I don't have a lot of fighters right now that can do anything to help me. This Wildcat isn't even fully maxed out. I probably should have waited on that one. The island of Guadalcanal lies ahead just as the south of Tulagi. As the Japanese continue their conquest of the Solomon Islands, will this be their next target? I think the answer is yes. We'll send one wildcat back down here. I don't want to leave my fleet without anybody. I'm gonna send the battleship up that way. A couple of the cruisers. Keep at least one cruiser back with the fleet. Now, having not played this before, I could be using totally the wrong strategy on this. We're going to find out. But like I said, I basically am not going to worry about what happens down here with these guys. I'm just not. All right. On to turn five. Whoa. Where did that come from? He's got to have a battleship somewhere that I can't see. That's the only thing that makes sense there. I wonder if I can get another another plane going on one of these carriers. 
Get me some more fighters. Give me another wildcat. All right, we don't have enough air supply points to do that. So if we lose one now, we've got another one purchased. I, I wondered about that. Okay. Yeah, let's close this out. How do we close that out? I forget. All right, we won't worry about it. We're going to send the Kingfisher up north toward the target. Same with the Dauntless. We've got one fighter down here. Let's send him out this way. I want to see what's going on. And I'm going to move some ships out a little wider because... There's got to be something. There's something happening here. Somebody fired on me, and I don't know where it came from. But I'm going to start moving my carriers away from it. get our ships into range of those ones pretty soon. Oh, that's what we had. We had a sub that snuck into the area. All right, we're going to deal with him. Bye-bye. We're still not going to send that Devastator out. Not until I know what I'm dealing with. Alright, we're on to turn six. Some of our surface ships are moving dangerously close to Japanese territory in the north. It is strongly advised to keep distance from enemy naval forces and avoid a large-scale surface battle. But what if that's what I want to do? Oh well. All right, keep the fighter away from the ships. All right, I guess we'll keep them kind of right where we are for now. I do want to send a couple ships up there, though. We'll keep most of the rest of them down here just to protect the fleet for now. Okay, I've got eight turns of fuel, so I can I can send that wildcat down there. Should be okay. On to turn seven. We're about a fourth of the way through this thing already. Intelligence from code breaking has confirmed that several Japanese carriers are operating around the Coral Sea. We must find them before they can find us. Okay. So we're going to have to go out and start searching for those guys. He's going to take out that tanker, but that's kind of, I had already assumed that would be the case. So not a huge deal. I'm going to send some of my destroyers out here just to try and figure out what's going on. Get a little bit more of a glimpse into things. I want to find those carriers. Something out here. There's a ship right there. Okay. So I guess these Kingfishers are just my spotter planes. I suppose that might be what we're dealing with here. I'm going to 
gonna get my wildcat back down that way. We're gonna shift the battleship over. See what else we have. We're gonna keep the carriers back. All right, now I think we'll get the Devastator going. We want them with torpedoes, though, because I think we're about to spot his fleet. All right. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Japanese aircraft located and destroyed the tanker. Sorry. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But now the Japanese aircraft has to deal with me. Nice. Tipping the balance. I like that. All right, let's get this guy out here and see what we're spotting. I want to get this wildcat landed. Same with these ones. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna do this turn. We're gonna keep uh, keep everybody close to these carriers. Well, not everybody, but most close to the carriers. sub right here we'll deal with him soon enough a fleet of cruisers and destroyers has reached its destination near Port Moresby they are tasked to intercept any Japanese transport ships and escorts headed for the town good so we've got some additional defense up here and we're gonna keep them close I think just so we can see and there they are right there so we're going to have to nail those guys as quick as I can. But first I want to... There's his fleet. Okay, it's all in here. So the... we're going to lose this plane, but I kind of expected that. So Not quite in range yet. Torpedo planes are going to get there. There we go. So let's get this guy reinforced. There we go. He's up to 10. I don't think we can do that for this one yet. No, we can't. And so then we'll be able to launch these guys next turn. Kingfisher's got unlimited fuel, apparently. I'm gonna finish these pl these ships off. Nice. And then we'll finish those two off the next turn. Then we'll deal with the island itself. All right, I'm gonna move these guys a little bit closer, but not much.
Nice. All right, on the turn 10, we're about a third of the way through this thing already. Those carriers. Man, he's got a ton of ships up in here. Good, they're coming this way, and that's where we're going to intercept them. That's his landing force. Wow, there's a lot of ships. Incoming Japanese planes. We're ready for that, though. All right, so here's our torpedo plane, but unfortunately, he's got some planes of his own in there, and that's going to be a problem for me. Let's get these guys in the air. these guys re refit and ready to go all right I've got six available command points is that enough to deploy another wildcat nope not yet well, I need three I should be able to Not yet. So wait, we'll have to wait until somebody else gets destroyed before I'll be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to hold back the Devastator for now. Oh man, I can't wait till my battleship gets in range. That's gonna be nice. All right, let's finish these guys off. All right, we got a bit of a fuel issue there. We're gonna have to move those guys quickly. And I'm going to move my carriers up toward them to get a little, get them a little closer. I think I'm probably going to keep this wildcat back too, just to help adequately protect my carriers. These guys only have four in fuel left, so we're going to start heading back, get them landed. About all he's going to do there. I'm a little worried about this landing force. Okay, now it gets interesting. All right, let's take that guy out. Oh man, not quite yet. Just out of torpedo range. Same here. Let's move him just a little bit closer.
pull back the Devastator. Bring in the Wildcat. Should have another one I can launch. Let's get these guys out. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. I've only got one more turn for them. I've got five available naval command points. Let's see what that can get me. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to have another cruiser just because of the anti-air power that they have. All right, where can we deploy them? Anywhere? Anywhere? Uh, Bueller? Oh, over here. Okay. Cool. So that helps me out a little bit, I think. we got to keep these guys super close to these carriers the best I can. Although these destroyers don't have the ability to fire in aircraft anyway, that's going to have to be the, the cruisers. So I might as well start sending the destroyers out. Now we gotta get these planes back too. And let's start firing on these bad boys. Got a little get a little closer. Alright. His fleet's coming back toward me now. And it's a big fleet. Yeah, he's going for my cruiser. Makes sense. Jeez. Oof. I should have kept that destroyer parked in front of them. He just lit my cruiser up with torpedoes. Wow. Good night. Wow. That was pretty harsh. Okay. Luckily, we can at least build them up a little bit. We can do a lot of good, though. All right, let's see what's happening here, because this is getting pretty intense, too. We've got anti-aircraft here, so we're going to use it. Get these guys landed. There we go. Now we finish off the base. Now we get out of there. 
still got our torpedo plane that really I just don't feel safe enough to use yet. So we're gonna just park them for now. Let's get this wildcat up there. Get my other cruiser into position to help out. In hindsight, I don't know why I picked the cruiser that was damaged. Because that wasn't really very smart on my part. Come on, take him out. Uh, darn it. Thought I had him. See who's up here, if I can. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about what's happening over here. I'm about to lose my cruiser. I think I might not be able to stop that landing. Battleship. Oh. I hate torpedoes. Dang. So he's got a sub over here. Okay. Battleship first. Who can we really do the best damage to. I guess we're taking that tanker out. Okay, back over here. I've got a plane that I've got to get landed. We've got one we can... Nah, that's the Devastator. We're going to leave him there. We've got a Dauntless Bomber. Guess we could probably get him going next turn. I'm going to send the Destroyers out. I just got to watch because he's got a... If he's got a sub in this area somewhere, which it appears he does... That same sub could be going after my carriers, and that is not a good look. There's one of his. All right. We are super close to that carrier, too. Well, at least I took out one of his ships before he lands at Port Moresby and just lights me up there.
All right, so we got to protect Port Moresby from invasion as a primary objective, and I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen unless I can get some more ships in that region, and I'm not sure that I'm able to do that. Oh, I'm so close to being in range of this carrier. Good news is we're doing a pretty good job of hurting his escorts. Bad news is I don't think it's going to matter if I can't protect Port Moresby. I'm actually kind of hoping his sub will sink this guy so I can get one deployed over there, which is what I should have done to begin with. carrier got in nice and close. Not entirely sure how you shot torpedoes through your own ship, but okay. Let's see what a battleship can do to a carrier. Oh, there he is. That sub's in here somewhere. Oh, boy. Man, battleship won't even do any damage. What's the point in having a battleship if they can't damage ships well? Ah. Uh. Oh, we weren't on our primary guns? Is that the problem? I guess so. Oh, hello! That's a little better. Wildcat in the air. I don't know where those torpedoes came from, but I think it was on that side. Oh, there's nothing I can do here. Come on, destroyer. Oh, yeah, scratch one flat top. I don't know which one that was, but we'll take it.
He cleared the way, now he's gonna come in with the landing. Of course they've found them. Yeah, that's not gonna help me a whole lot, I don't think. Just about to lose my battleship. Let's get these bombers in the air. Good news is I sank one of his battleships already, which means he does not, or one of his carriers already, which means he doesn't have those planes to come at my carrier with. I think this may all be the invasion. There goes my battleship. I can't believe he just sailed his carrier right in there like that. That's crazy. Man, if I could just protect Port Moresby, I'd be set. Loss of the complete carrier force in the Coral Sea is a major blow to the Japanese. All right, they have no carriers left at this point. That is great news. Bye-bye. All right, now we'll get those torpedo planes up.
What is happening over here? I guess we can't see what's happening over there. So how do we attach this commander? He doesn't have any special traits, so what's the point then? All right, cool. On to turn 19. Alright, at least we're between the sub and my carrier that time. Deploy somebody over here to do something about this. I don't have any ability for infantry, so it's got to be reserve units. Here we go. New Orleans, right there. Perfect. wonder why he pulled back. And that's about all we can do. So hopefully New Orleans is going to be enough to at least keep him at bay for a little while. from that sub wherever he is. Torpedo plane, let's get him going. Got some bombers here. him first. We're going to land him. Ouch. Ooh, that was pretty heavy too. Dang. Are those cruisers? They have some heavy guns. Feels kind of ominous over there. I wonder why he moved away and then came back. 
flight of B-17 Flying Fortresses has arrived from Australia at the airfield in Port Moresby. Their high-altitude attacks make them virtually invulnerable to the enemy's AA gunfire. Excellent. He's got three landing craft, though. Man. I almost hope another one of my ships gets sunk over here so that I can deploy another one over there. Kind of stinks that's the way it is, but that's how it goes. Ah. I put them in the wrong spot. I, I should have been one next to the torpedoes. I thought that was a bomber for some reason. Okay. Nine turns to go. Just tape as long as that Port Moresby attack doesn't come off. Come on, sink him, sink him! Thank you. Free up some points for me. That didn't free up any. I can't stop all of these landing craft. Well, I guess there's only two of them. what I need to do with some of these guys is uh, get them built back up if I'm able to. It doesn't look like I can though. Alright, first things first. Yes! Take it out. That's helpful. Now we're going to take out the other one. I thought they couldn't fire on me. What's up with that? So we just got to take out this other infantry now. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. Get this wildcat in the air. That's all, right, all I can do for now. take him out on this turn. Ooh, he's got a lot of a lot of ships over there. Hope he doesn't have another landing craft back here. Nice. Please take him out. Take him out. Yes. Yes. That is good news right there. Now let's just hope he doesn't have another one behind all those ships.
Okay, we're in the home stretch here. Please don't have an ask. Because he's definitely going to take that ship out. I guess we got to wait and find out what this other one is. The good news is we can deploy another ship. <laughs> okay. Seven turns to go. Let's find out what this is. Uh, it's a destroyer. That's good. That said, we're still going to go ahead and deploy another... ship out here um i guess we've got the money let's go ahead and buy up another cruiser park him right there say hello to my new little friend let's see what we can do to finish off this japanese fleet more turn before I can launch torpedoes again. Keep these guys close. Yeah, we're good. He doesn't have a lot of ships left. I think I've done a pretty good number on him. Man, that was in serious doubt for a while, though, because of the landing craft approaching Port Moresby. I don't know why on earth he pulled his navy away from there, but it saved me. That's right. Keep going after the ships that I keep spawning there. Keeps you occupied. There's his sub. He finally had to surface. Guys are toast. Let's come in for a torpedo run. And that's the end of him. Well, there's not a lot left for me to do here, I guess. Look at you slipping past my defense. And he disappears again. That's okay. Really not a lot left to observe here, so I'll probably drop out until the end. Unless something of note happens that I feel you need to see just to kind of save some time. All right, here comes the end. This is the last turn, so we're gonna see how this all shakes out and where we go from here. Just as soon as his ships finish having their fun over there. I probably could have sent my ships from the central area there and taken these guys out, but there wasn't really a 
lot of purpose for that. As nightfall makes further operations impossible, all aircraft are returning from their strike missions. Our carrier task forces have proven to be more than a match for their Japanese counterparts. All primary objectives complete. Everything but losing the tanker on the secondary objectives. And that's pretty, pretty good, I think, for the very first time playing through that mission. It got a little questionable for a while there at Port Moresby, but... Let's take a look here. We've got eight specialization points, but we are not into 19... 43 yet so landing craft that's the only thing we can do with it though i don't expect we're going to have need for infantry landing craft at least for a little while that brings us to midway i have been excited about that one for a while midway was a huge turning point in the war in the pacific major carrier on carrier action that could have gone either way really cool i'm excited about that one but for now, we're going to wrap this one up. So let me know your thoughts. Obviously, having played it now, I know there's some things I could have done better. Definitely would have uh, parked some more ships over by Port Moresby to start uh, on my deployment phase. But otherwise, I think it went about as well as could be expected. I sank almost his whole fleet. Certainly all of his carrier-based uh, part of his fleet. Uh, only things that he I didn't get were the ones all the way over by Port Moresby. So let me know your thoughts. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.